third type of bill of material is summarized bill of material a summarized bill of material groups all components in a product structure and totals the quantity of each component used in the entire bill of material structure so again it has the it has all the components in a product structure and totals the quantity so it has both things the components and the quantity but what it does not have as compared to multi level and indented bill of material is the structural relationship so structural the structural relationship are not shown nor does it contain any information about how the product is made or assembled so this is sort of limitation of this bill of material so this list the components that are required to make the final assembly as well as their quantity and just remember that this quantity is uh, the one the quantity required for one final product but this bill of material does not show the parent child relationship or assembly component relationship it is just the listing of the components and the quantity that is required to make one product that's it so uh, practically actually if someone from the mechanical background they know that uh, on engineering drawings actually this type of bill of material is shown so on the engineering drawing the summarized bill of material is shown where only the list of components is there and that is linked to the drawing where that component actually is assembled its location is shown as well as the quantity is shown so on mechanical drawings especially the summarized bill of material is shown so here is an example so different components of the assembly are indicated as 1 2 3 4 so so for example part number 1 is the base its material is mentioned here as well and quantity required is 1 the number 2 is the shaft its material quantity required is 1 at number 7 we are having bearings the quantity required is 2 so similarly at 8 there is grease seal quantity required is 1 and you can continue in the same way and at 14 you could see there is a screw and the quantity required is 4 so the listing is there and in this case material is specified here the nodes are there quantity is there but when the component is to be made in order to be available for the higher level assembly it is not shown here but on engineering drawing actually this type of bill of material is shown again like this again the parts are numbered and they are explained here that their description is there and quantity mentioned is there so for example at number 5 this is the bill of material of a seat or a chair so at number 5 we are having legs quantity required is 4 at 6 we are having nut arm rest quantity required is 8 and so on so that is the summarized bill of material 